This is Dark Flame. This is a game that we checked out once in the past and I really did love quite a bit, so let's go ahead and just dive right in and see what's changed. This is a pre-alpha demo. It exists to show off more features of the engine and does not reflect how the final game will be. It's time to take, uh, the, the, uh, take back the keep. So actually, that looks new. I don't recall the mini-map in the top right, right, right there. I actually really like that. It looks like you've also changed the mana bar. I think that used to be blue, didn't it? So we have, just like last time, health bar, stamina bar, and a mana bar. And the stamina bar in the middle right there determines how much damage I'm going to deal with my weapon. And you hear that lovely little <sighs> weapon when you're out of stamina. Actually, I guess it's changed now. Now it's actually more, you can't swing at all when you're out of stamina. If I recall in the past, you could swing, but you really didn't dish out the damage. Now, I kind of wonder if there's a way to turn off that mini-map, and of course there is, because he's a good developer. He is a good developer who knows you're not always going to need that mini-map right there. So that's pretty solid. Alright, so let's see. I'm having a little trouble getting that timing right, but there we are. What have we here? Sub-weapons! Alright, daggers. We'll try that out. Ah, look at that. He has a crazy forward slash right there. Ah, nope. Gotta jump over that. Now, I also have magic. If I press L1 or R1, that'll fire off. There we go. And I am slowly dying of poison. Holy crap. That is a lot of damage to take for my first shot of poison from off screen. Dodge. Dodge. Out of mana. So right here, it's... Ah, ooh, look at that. That is a nice new level of animation. Now, I saw that on Twitter while it was in progress, and I gave a, uh, a little bit of advice on it, and I think it took where I said you should really zoom in on where the action is, not so much where the player is. But I guess you're using that for level ups, which looks really great. Ow! Okay, so this was a gripe I had with the last time I checked out this game. You gotta make sure that your enemies are visible, and that you're not getting attacked out of nowhere without expecting it. That poison shot was so cheap! I didn't see that coming, there was no way I could've. It was completely off screen. Ow! And he doesn't flinch either. Uh, I might die from this. Maybe if I level up quick enough? Nah, I don't think that's happening. I think I'm dead. Oh, still alive. I'll take it. Alright, so he's just kind of chilling up here. I'm out of mana, though. He has a crazy quick backpedal. Like, look at that! That is, that is like, really quick. There's, like, a little telegraph that it's about to happen, but then it just kind of happens. Like, you don't even see it coming. So there's no mana regain in this. I think I have to get it through other means. And boy, does he dish out the damage. Or take the damage, rather. Ooh, fancy. There's the mana. So you gotta kill somebody to get their soul, their mana. One unspent point. Let's put that into something. Let's put that into our strength, because right now we just do not deal the damage. And hey, that upped my health, too, so that's pretty sweet. How about my equipment? What, what am I using right here? A basic sword? Yeah, that ain't gonna do much. Hmm. Alright, so let's keep moving. The level design feels much better than the last time. Uh, it feels much more, like... I guess you could say varied. There's a lot more... Yeah, I thought so. There's a lot more platforming. Oh, he's an NPC. He looks like a statue. Alright, what do you got? Welcome. What do you want? Let's talk to him. Let's not talk to him. Let's buy something. A strong sword. That sounds way better than a weak sword. Then there's the earth sword if I want to save up. You know what? I'm gonna save up. You won't live long. Boy, he is just a bundle of laughs, that assassin. Good for him. Controls are pretty much spot on rather liking the control scheme. Triangle to backpedal, takes up some stamina. Pretty handy. Oh crap, this is the castle, isn't it? Oh crap, I'm gonna die. I also have axes now, I didn't see that happen. Ah, that was pretty much a no-win scenario, wasn't it? But that seems like it was according to plan. Alright, so now we go back. Maybe that wasn't supposed to be a no-win scenario. Maybe I was supposed to have the power, just not the ability to do it. So maybe I just gotta get good. But hey, more money. Wait, did I just lose all my money? Really? I lost all my money for dying? That's pretty harsh, honestly. I don't know if that's a bug, but wow. I would have bought the sword if I knew that. I mean, yikes. I had like 75 goldish. Yeah. So what's a little weird is the fact that your sub-item takes uh, the same resource, which is your mana, as your magic does. Okay, we get it. You can slash forward. So here's a problem with this particular design. This guy slashes forward at an alarmingly quick rate. And if you don't have the damage it takes to kill him, then there's not really a good place to jump over him aside from maybe here. But I'm trying to figure out 
you can't really jump over him in this scenario, not easily, unless he's literally right here and you're right here. That's really the best place I can think of to jump over him. Everywhere else, there's not a good area where you can really dodge him. You'd have to either retreat or... Yeah, it's, it's not so much... Uh, it's pretty cramped, and maybe that's by design. What have we here? Some kind of hammer. If we move the map... Okay, so here's the map. Aha! So there were a few areas I could have gone right there. Oh, and you can recover what you lost there. Oh, well, pff, I'm not going to go back and fight the boss again right now. I'll go back in there and I'll die. But that's how this is working. Okay, so we got kind of a Dark Souls feel to that, wherein you will die and you'll lose everything, but you can recover it. Instead of souls, though, it's literally everything. Alright, we got three slashes. Ow! 29 damage! Woo! Thank goodness I leveled up right there, or I'd be dead. Enemy deals 29 damage, I deal 2 damage. Wow! Talk about your tough starter. Ah, the abandoned village. This head is pretty strong. I think I need more strength. Let's try the, the higher strength. This seems like the way to go right now. Okay, that's 1 damage to him. At least he backs up. But he only takes 1 damage. That's pretty disheartening, honestly. Ah, but that works. Nope, not if I fail like that. Come on, take all the damage. There it is. Realistically, I probably shouldn't be going this way. Ah, what have we here? New armor. Now, I assume you don't lose your equipment when you die, because that'd be unbelievably harsh. Physical defense, earth defense, air defense. Very nice. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that little palette change right there. Nice. It's nothing major, but it's definitely really nice. It's a nice touch. Anytime that you have some kind of character change, at least in the look, whenever you change your equipment, is really nice. You can't go wrong. It's just, it's a plus, no matter what you do. Alright. So, yeah, Met in Metroidvania station, uh, fashion, I assume I'm gonna need to come back here when I have a method to double jump or something. It's like that, though. There we go. Okay, so let's come back here later. Right now, though, we did get something, though. See, that was smart. They actually, uh, the developer put something there to compensate me for the time I spent, even though it wasn't enough for me to continue from there. So, I get something, even though it's not, you know, progression. It's just armor, which is pretty sweet. And someday I will get to that stuff. Alright. Oh, ow! Damn, that is a lot of damage. One thing I did notice, though, is last time I would take damage if this guy's sword touched me while it was at that resting position right there, which made him super hard to hit. So I'm glad to see that that feedback was, uh, was taken from last time. That was a huge problem because it made it so hard to approach and attack these guys. So I'm glad to see that was done. That's a huge improvement. Huge. Ow! Oh, spikes! Right, of course, yes. Death symbols. Gotta remember those. Spikes are bad. Aw, oh, I lost my hammer because I didn't think it through. My bad. Alright, so three hits kills most of these guys. Oh, but not these guys! Ah, I'm hitting your head, man. There it is. Now, I gotta remember that guy's up here, because he'll kill me if I get hit by that. Come on. I know you're there. There you go. Alright, what's over this way? Health, maybe? Oh, he's gonna spit how far? How far? Okay. Oh, well, nope. I thought I could land on that. False assumptions, ho! Alright. But again, I really do like this level design compared to the last one that we saw. It's much more varied. There's a lot more... a lot more height to it all. By the way, did I level up? I did. Ah, I want to hit that, but I can't. Oh crap, he respawned, didn't he? Yes, he did. There we go. So... Mm, can't get up there just yet. Now, I assume those are placeholder graphics. I'm sure in the future we might end up seeing some new, uh, different looking armors. Ah, this is what we were looking for. Save point. Ooh. Oh, admittedly that sound, I don't think that sound really fits the theme of everything that we've heard so far. But, for some reason, it's a little, it's a little heartening, you know? I still think you could do better, but it's, it's kind of reassuring. It's a little bit of happiness. It sounds like something out of Peggle, you know? Uh, now down there is a place I... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, is this... Okay. Hang on, I just realized something. Well, first of all, I'm stuck down here. Second of all, I wonder if I could have actually held down and looked down. Ooh, double jump! 
Nice. I like those wings. Nice. That looks really good. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. That looks beautiful. That is a great level up uh, feel right there. So we can continue this way if we want. Which is probably better than going the other way, considering we know what's the other way. Lots of death. But I should probably also level up my agility this time. Is that going to... Yeah, more stamina? More stamina. Let's level up the agility a smidge. Get a little more stamina in there. So I can do more swings. Still only three. Oh, wrong way. Hang on. This guy. Let's go ahead and heal up. Nice. There we go. So actually, I was hoping that would give me more stamina. Like, enough to do another attack, but... Unfortunately, that is not the case. The stamina is a little ambiguous right now. You know what would be kind of cool is if on the stamina gauge there were little bars or something that let you know, like, how far down your stamina is going to go be, uh, for each attack. So, like, let's say it takes five stamina to do an attack. Like, how much stamina do I have right now? I have 62 stamina. So that means it takes probably about 20-ish uh, stamina to do an attack. So for every 20 on that bar, there could be, like, a little black bar to let you know, you know, how much you have left. And that would actually help people a lot, I think, for planning out their weaponry choices. Because I know with daggers, you can use them more often, obviously, because they're a dagger. They're, they're a lot lighter. Don't require as much stamina. Ooh, come on. There we go. I think that enemy design needs a little more work. Wait, why do I have two gold? What happened? Why do I keep losing my gold? I didn't die that time. So what, I have nothing for this guy now? That I don't get. Where did... Wait, hang on. Apparently, I have a lot of gold. How much gold do I have? I have... Was that two gold that I collected? Is that what it was saying? Yeah, there it is. I have 228 gold. I thought it was saying two gold, because that's what it showed on the bottom left. Maybe what you'd want to do instead is uh, have it show the amount of gold you have, and then in parentheses, plus two. That might be a good way to go. You can do that when you buy things, too. It'll be like minus whatever. Earth sword. That sounds promising. And just in case, I'll buy the strong sword, too. Just in case one is better than the other. In the sense that, uh, you know, amount of stamina used and stuff like that. So the earth sword... I guess, actually, that's a good point. It'd be good to see the stats of the weapon before you buy it. Yeah, this just seems like a straight plus. It doesn't really... It shows me modifiers, but it doesn't, it doesn't show me how much stamina it's going to take per swing or anything like that. Like, let's look at the Earth Sword first. The Earth Sword, one, two. I get two, sword, two s shots out of the Earth Sword, but the Strong Sword, by comparison, one, two, three. So that's really good information to have, is to know how much stamina it'll take per swing, and even if you could show there how much stamina you have at that time, that would definitely help you make an informed decision about your weaponry. I think I will take the Earth Sword, though. Even though it's the two hits. Alright, here we go. Grab my stuff. Recovered, recovered what was lost. Ow. And died pretty instantly still. <laughs> that didn't go well. Yeah, we're not fighting that guy for a while. But do I still... Yeah, I still have my Earth Sword. Okay, good. That's all I really cared about. And that's what I think a lot of people are going to really care about is... What kind of... Uh, what are they losing when they die? Oh, what do we get here? A Howling Cloak. And what do you do for me? Water resistance. Protect against certain charred... Cloak made to guard against the charred parts of the forest. The charred parts. I don't get that because it's water defense? Wouldn't that be fire? I don't know. Either way, I think I'll go with this one because it has the physical resistance. Alright, so we're going to go down and to the right this time. In good Metroidvania, ow! Good Met, ow! In good Metroidvania fashion, we're just gonna go ahead and traverse this whole area that we've already gone through. But now we kind of know it because Metroidvania. Ah! I always forget about him. Appears out of nowhere. I would really like it if this game zoomed itself out more. I don't think you have to zoom in as much as you currently are. I mean, we're dealing with modern day resolutions here, and it feels like I'm playing a Game Boy game that's uh, that's stretched. I guess you could say. I mean, it's not stretched badly. It's not stretched in the sense that its aspect ratio is stretched. But it's stretched in the sense that why is it such a small viewing window? You could see so much more if you just zoomed out a little bit. And that can contribute... Like, right now, I would be jumping down to the unknown right now. I hear weapon slashing, which means to me... Yep, there he is. If I jump down... There's the problem. That is the prime example of why you really gotta zoom this game out. I mean, you're, you're doing a disservice to your own game if you're not allowing the player to see what's coming. 
by zooming the camera out a little bit, you'll be able to see what's coming, you'll be able to see what's around you. There's so much of an advantage to it. That is beautiful rain mist effect, actually. And that's actually, that wasn't there the last time I was here. Oh, I didn't kill him with those hits. Whoops. So, now we go back. But, that's, that's what I'm saying, is like, I've, I've just hit so many people because I haven't seen them come. Ow. Let's go ahead and heal from that. That effect is brutal, by the way. In the boss fight, when I got hit by that, I actually thought I had died already, so I didn't, uh... I, I kind of submitted, but actually I didn't die. It's a cool effect, but I think it's a little over the top. L let's get hit by it again. Let's see this. Look at that effect. That is a brutal effect. That is like, you are exploding. That's what that effect is. You are exploding. That, that makes me feel like, oh my god, I just died, didn't I? I don't think that's exactly what you're going for with that effect. You're clearly going for, you know, Haze of Confusion or something like that. I don't think that needs the whole exploding sound that goes with it. It's a little over the top, just a smidge. Cool though it might be. Alright, you. Can I deal more damage to you now? More than just the, the one damage a piece? Nope, just the one. This guy has crazy physical resistance. I still think from the last time I saw this that this game's just a little too brutal. I mean, just one hit right there, that was about a sixth of my health. I mean, it's always going to be the taste, right? Every game is going to be two tastes. There's different difficulties for different folks, and I like my games a little difficult, I do. But when you're dealing with Metroidvania, you have to make sure that you stack the odds in the player's favor to some degree, because otherwise they're going to be backtracking and dying a lot. And I just realized that I went the wrong way. And now i got to fight this dude again. I mean, look at how long it's taken me to kill this guy, even though by now, after getting two weapon upgrades, I would expect to at least deal more than one damage to him a hit. I mean, I've pretty much fully specced out for strength. There we go. And I can't just jump over him either. That's part of the design right there is, you know, you can't jump over him. I do feel like there's a, definitely a time and a place for difficulty, but there's also got to be a feel of progression going on, you know? I have to feel like I have accomplished something in all that I've done. And I've just gotten two weapon upgrades, and neither of them are enough to really deal any significant damage to that guy. I'm still dealing one damage a piece. This guy's still scary, too, because of that giant slash he has. It is a long slash. Plus, he does it pretty frequently, so there's not a lot of downtime. There's not a lot of vulnerability time on him. You gotta time it out perfectly. Now, of course, you can use your magic, but you only have so much of that. A little bit of RNG right there to make sure... Well, actually, it's not even RNG, are those? Those seem to be all predetermined. Oh, hey, recovered quite a lost. There we go. The pixel art is astounding. I love the pixel art in this game. I really do. It is very beautiful, especially the environment. That, I think, is probably the biggest and best get of this game, is how beautiful the environment art all is. It is astounding. It really is. This is some high-quality, top-tier stuff. I'm getting a little lag around this thing. I don't know if that's because of the variety of me streaming and all that other fun stuff. And this is not a great place to be fighting this dude, what with the whole wheel of death behind me. One more hit from anything and I'm dead already. There it is. Maybe if you made him weak to something. Maybe if you made him weak to the fire magic that you start off with. That would give you a little variety, right? It'd give the player a little bit of a chance to say, Hey, I need to branch out to fight some people. Otherwise, it doesn't really work. My only chance to win is to fight with, you know, intelligence. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Wait, good thing I didn't make a leap of death right there into that guy. Level up! Perfect timing for it. Those level ups do feel wonderful. Outstanding, even. Alright, now you put me on some time pressure. I like that. I like the time pressure of the wheel of death right there. Love me some time pressure. Alright, jump. No, no, no! Oh, no. Come on. Just not gonna deal with him right there. Oh, please zoom out the camera. I beg you. I beg you to zoom out the camera. Ow! See? I could have seen him if there was a zoomed out camera. Oh, the pain. That is so much damage. Ah, dang it. I do not know when he's gonna spit, but he loves to spit when I'm not ready. I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die here. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and run for any kind of save point I can find. Ah, you son of a... That's death, isn't it? Oh, that sucks, because now look how far back I am. Now I gotta re-traverse all of that. I mean, that, that's where I see the problem right there, is really just, if you zoom out the camera, I think it will solve so very, very many problems uh, that, I'm, that I'm experiencing in this game. The biggest uh, problem is just not seeing the attack coming. That is, that is the worst feeling for any player, really, is to not know that they're about to be hit. Because then it's not even really their fault. It's just like, oh, well, how could I have known? Sure, I can go through a million times and memorize where everything is, and then I'll hopefully be prepared for it, but nobody likes going through a game a million times to memorize things. It's it's not... We, we want to experience, like, you know, where we're able to prepare for things and do things right, you know? Monster Hunter style. Prepare ahead of time and then fight to the bloody death, you know? 
You could absolutely bring world peace if you zoom out the camera. Oh, come on, come on, come on. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop harping on the camera. At this point, I just gotta, I gotta grow and I gotta adapt. I gotta grow and I gotta adapt. Gameplay, though, is pretty stellar for the most part. There's some balancing issues still, I would say, but, I mean, that's really probably gonna resolve itself the more I play, which reminds me, level up the strength, because that really seems like the go-to. I can't rely on magic, because I don't have enough of it. But, strength is always there for me. Eventually. Except for these guys, who apparently just do not give a crap about my strength. <laughs> Someday I will make you deal da or take damage. That will happen. Someday you will take more than a single bit of damage. God, I love that rain effect. It is so cool. Now, one thing I did want to check out, this guy, is he, yeah, he's still kind of got a one-to-one -one follow on me, but I have more speed than him, at least, so that helps. I was always worried about those heads, because since they keep following you, they can very easily get stuck on you. And they have this trick where when they touch you, it reverses your left and right. Which basically means you're gonna probably end up hitting them again, because you're gonna be holding left or something, you're gonna tap them, and then you're gonna end up going right, which means you're not gonna be going the direction you wanted to be going. So you're gonna have to go through them again, and then, well, you see how it goes. Alright, you, come on. Nope, don't deal with you. I do like that you elevated him. I'm sure that was intentional for level design reasons. Come on, shoot your little slime. There you go. Ah, have you ever gotten through that without getting hit? I don't know if that's... I mean, maybe if I jumped right there. I probably could have jumped right there and been fine. Alright, I gotta watch out for this next one. Yep, that's the one. Where are you? Come on, when are you gonna spit? When are you gonna spit? Come on, do your thing. There we go. Take that, thank you. God, look at that statue in the background. I love this background. Beautiful art. Just outstandingly stellar art. Boy, what is doing that, I wonder? Alright, so there's just gonna be spikes in between there. I learned that from earlier. There will be spikes in between there. Oh, if I hold down long enough, I guess it does move the camera. It's just a really long hold. What about up? Holding up? Yeah, up too. Okay, good to know. Woo! Oh, that's you. Stop that. Ow! Right, you have a friend. Oh, no! Come on! Aw, oh, dang it. All the way back. Dang. I do like how he was there to prevent me from being able to jump over him. But at the same time, I died. So I'm a little, I'm a little salty. Just a, just a smidge of salt. Ow! Right, I forgot you were there, because I can't see you. Ow. Right, no more harping on the camera. Come on, high sight, you got this. By the way, an experience bar somewhere would be stellar. None of that now. Okay. Wrong piece of equipment. At least I'm dealing more damage to these guys. Three hits. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this game definitely has an 8-bit Dark Souls feel. That is definitely certain. But it doesn't really have the dodge roll aspect. It has kind of the back roll thing, but you can only do that if you have stamina, and most likely you're not going to have stamina a lot of the time. I actually, would you consider, have you tried making the backslide thing free? Just like, you know, dodge rolling in Dark Souls. I mean, I think that that might actually help a lot for planning things out. Then again, you could always say, well, why don't you just plan out around having a back roll? So do two swipes and then back up, you know? Either way makes sense, but right there it's like, oh, but then I ran out, I didn't think I would. Because I'm not really eyeing my gauge all the time while I'm doing this stuff, and I have to account for the fact that I'm I can probably only do a certain amount of back rolls at uh, one time. I mean, you can make it cooldown based. Like, right now, I think I can back dodge as much as I want, but I just need the stamina for it. That sound is really handy, though. That audio cue is excellent. There it is. It cancels attacks. That's true. So you could go like... Yeah, that is true. That is true. And if you do it before the attack, that does actually uh, stop you from even using the stamina on the attack. But I could see that. I could see it being too powerful. But if it was on a cooldown, maybe not so much. That's something that, you know, I'd have to be played around with to know for sure. Alright, there he is. Waiting for him. Everybody's waiting for you, little guy. Yeah! There it is. More level ups. Alright, where what are we putting this one in? Let's put this one in... Let's do it in agility. I need more of those critical hits. 3% is not enough. One, two, three. Still three hits. 
Alright, you. Get over here. Nope, nope. I goofed. Alright, cool. And then get this little guy ahead of time. There's a lot of waiting at that this part just because I'm waiting for them, but most people I think won't even bother waiting. I think they'll just gun it. It's all about how your playstyle is. Okay, so I gotta remember the jump. Alright, jump while I'm on the stairs. And jump! He didn't shoot that time! I don't even know your game plan anymore, sir. You just do what you want, don't you? And then you got your brother up there. He's just weird. What is he doing up there? He serves no purpose up there unless I, you know. <laughs> why, why are you up there, George? I'm gonna call him George. George and Jill. Jill was the one on the right. I killed her first. I just realized that the, it turned to night, and I'm on, I'm on acid, but not in the fun way. Ow! You aim that one down. Damn you, Jack. Ah! You aim that one down too. I never know where they're gonna aim. Ugh! I guess I should just always assume they're gonna aim at me, but they don't. They actually have aiming patterns, but I don't know what they are. And that hurts. Alright, can I maybe kill this guy? Yes! Please! Please heals! Oh no, no heals just yet. God, those ambient changes in the background are so cool though. Between the rain, the light and dark phases, so cool. This hammer is cool though. I like this hammer. Hammer time! Nope, no more, no more mana. Alright, come on. I don't want to die right now. I think two hits will do me. Damn, stop backing up. You're going through hills, and that makes it so hard to angle my shot. And there's two of you in there! There's two of you in there, isn't there? I can't tell. It looks like it might be two people. Nah, it's just one. Damn it, I wish I had mana right now. See, I can't get a good angle on these guys right here, mainly because of the... The way my sword swings and the direction they are, whenever they're below me, I really don't have a good method of approach on them. It's kind of dangerous. Maybe that's all part of the game, but it makes it tricky and it, it does slow it down. I feel like for an action game, I'm experiencing a lot of slowdown in these fights. Just moments of waiting. Oh, glad that didn't hit. Okay, a little bit of mana. Please let there be some kind of... Some kind of save point or something nearby. Did I miss one? No, look at this. It's all just a straight stretch. Maybe up here. Maybe if I'm really lucky. Come on. The pyre allows you to create magic and modify weapons, but not yet. Ah, but I need health right now. Where's my health point? Come on, guys. I'm going to die. Look at this. That whole stretch, nothing. Okay, we just got to persevere. We got to press on. Brutal though it may be. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy! Whoa, 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 whoa! Probably a waste, but I didn't want to risk getting hit by him now. Oh, God, no, no, no! Not cool, man. Oh, God, what is that even? Is that tracking me? No, thank God. Run, run, run. Oh, God, this is not a good place to be! This is the opposite of a good place to be. Oh, boy. Oh, no! Oh. Okay, well, I'm in a horrible position. Unless you die, okay. Can I... The next one's probably coming soon, I don't know. Oh, and you're not going to stop moving. I can't see when he's going to shoot that, but I'm going based off of sound. Oh, boy. This is so high intensity. And that is good. It's good that I'm feeling very focused right now. But it's also horrible because <laughs> there's so many ways I can die right now and so few ways I can see myself coming back from this. I mean, this has been so brutal. How have you not given me any kind of save point yet? This is horribly hard. It's so brutal. Oh, my God. Seriously, difficulty curve is too high! I couldn't cancel out of it in time. Ugh. That's, that's, look at that. Look at all that progress I just lost right there. That is a ridiculous amount of progress. And it's literally right above me, too. That's probably the harshest part of this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is so brutal. I missed the shortcut below. Well, shoot. <laughs> you can light the pyre, but you can't use it. What would lighting the pyre have done? Would that have healed me? You just said I couldn't use it in the game! You lied to me! You lied to me, sir! You said that I couldn't use the pyre, but now you're saying I could! Why? Why would you lie to me? Oh, please tell me it wouldn't have healed me, because that's just going to make me so sad. The game said I couldn't do it yet. I was lied to. By pixels. There's a switch. Oh, no. That's something I think you're going to want to make a lot more apparent, because when you tell them that they can't use it yet, I think what they're going to think are probably something along the lines of, you can't use this yet. 
So they're just gonna not explore. It heals you and gives you two extra- Oh, thank god, just kidding. Oh my god. If it gave me two extra spells, I was gonna be legitimately sad right there. Cause I, I love me some magic. Even though I don't up my intelligence ever. Cause I need the health and the- and the damage. Alright, we're gonna give this one last go. Now that we're doing a little bit better, I think. Now that we know a little bit more. Oh, nope. That is not a sign of doing better. But okay, but I, I will say, I want to try to find and point out a good area for you to put a save point. So we're, we're going to find a place here. We're going to find a place for a save point. Let's get the mini-map up here. Where is it? Oh, I think I see the shortcut you're referring to. No, you can't get up there. What am I saying? That wouldn't work. Where is this shortcut you speak of? Hmm. I'm actually looking on the map. I can't find what seems like a good shortcut spot. Anyway, arguably there'd be kind of a good spot for it here. I admit it's a little close to your other one when you look at it on the map. But I think maybe it's just because of how hard it is to live that I'm finding it so important to get more save points somewhere. I mean, there's not a lot of ways to get health back, and you lose health very quickly. Look at that, that was like a third of my health right there. Because I mistimed that. So, literally, for this entire stretch, where we face how many enemies so far? We've hit one, two, three, four, five, six enemies, including the heads. And then seven enemies here. Seven enemies that are not easy to kill, I might add. Seven enemies from here. Oh, well, shoot. Plus traps. Let's not forget the traps. Apparently my double jump didn't want to work right there. I mean, look how far I am and look how close I am to dead. That's so hard. And again, I understand brutality, it's probably the main theme of this game, but you gotta cut the player some slack. This is a you, this this is a game where you, the player has to be in it for the long haul. They have to explore a very large open area. And that's gonna be hard to do if they're dying every two seconds. I don't claim to be the best at platformers, but I'm also no noob. I, I play a lot of a lot of games. I actually did not think he'd reach that far. I play a lot of games, particularly a lot of platformers, particularly a lot of RPG platformers. I love them. They're like one of my favorite genres. But this difficulty curve is so exceptionally high that I worry that you're going to turn off so many players before they even get to any good parts. I mean, look at how much trouble I'm having right here. I, all right, this guy. Right, I need to mem- and this guy. I need to memorize that these guys are here. Because that's a lot of damage. Thank God for level ups, though. The occasional level up that heals you. Damn it! thought I'd be safe there, but there's no safety here. No safety. Ah, I actually was trying to duck right there. It seems if you're constantly attacking... Hang on, let me get the stamina up right there. If you're constantly attacking and you hold down, he never actually ducks. See, the attack overrides the ducking. That's one thing I noticed. Might be good to... I mean, when you're when the player's holding down, odds are they really want to duck immediately, so... I'm not saying cancel out an attack for the duck, but definitely duck in between attacks. Ah, wrong way. Oh, was this the shortcut? Oh, if I kept going forward here, I would have reached this. Oh, I see it. I see what you were getting at. That would be the shortcut, but I had to keep going in that direction. I see it now. So I would have been able to bypass all those things. But don't you think that you're kind of setting it up so you expect the player to die very frequently? Uh, ah, dang it. I missed again. Okay, so... Oop, not that way. This way. I do want to make, what, what, make one more valiant attempt to at least get that shortcut open. Because I feel like that, that would be my accomplishment for the night. You and your crazy, wild, faraway slashes. Stop that! Come on. There we go. One thing that I do have to utilize more, and I, I recognize this, I need to utilize the back dodge more, because canceling out attacks, hugely helpful. And that was good value. Plus, finding all the mana I can would help, too. I do dig the music. The music definitely fits the theme quite nicely. Between the opening area we were in right there... Ow. Between the opening area we were in right there and... Wow, he's just walking towards... Okay, yeah. I, I clearly suck at this game. I, I can acknowledge that. I can accept that. Maybe that is just what it is. Maybe I'm just not really good at this game. But, you know, there's there's got to be... Uh, there's got to be a middle ground for people like me. I'm... Again, I'm no noob. I, I don't claim to be the best gamer in the world. But I'm not new to video games. I've been playing games like these for a long time. And I feel like when I'm having trouble, there's going to be a much bigger 
like player base below me that is going to have just as much, if not substantially more trouble. And that is something that you need to watch out for. You need to make sure that your game is at least relatively accessible. Ow. Because what's the point in having a game if nobody plays it, you know what I mean? I'm, I really do genuinely worry about that with a lot of video games, is when it, a game can be so hard that while it might be to your personal taste, others might not be able to play it. And sure, there's games where masochism is the point, like if you want to be, I want to be the guy. But this game doesn't feel like it's going for the I want to be a guy crowd. It's going for the people who love Dark Souls, people who love uh, Metroidvanias. That's the kind of crowd I think you're aiming for. And while I think that with what you have right here, you can definitely reach that, I do think some rebalancing is going to have to be absolutely necessary. Some re-examinations of how certain certain elements are done right here. For example, this guy, how he randomly will decide to back up or move forward on you, and if he moves too far forward on you, you're going to end up backing up into a trap right here that you can't do a whole lot about. You're just going to have to wait until you can kill him with all of his massive amounts of health. There we go. There's definitely certain elements, I think, that can be re-examined and can definitely do with a rebalancing that would definitely bring this game more into the realm of viability for more people. Super important. Oh no, right, him. Forgot about him. Thank you, Double Jump. Admit, like, this is an example, in my opinion, of a good, uh, a good platforming puzzle right here. This is well done, because you have the whole head thing and dodging them and everything like that. I think it works nicely. It works to the game's benefit, without being overly hard. Because, like I just did right there, you can always back up if you need to. You have the ability to utilize your own powers to back up and reevaluate instead of just you're locked in. Come on. Spit it out. There it is. Ah, dang. I was worried about that. Like, right there, I have no idea when that guy's going to spit. The, the telegraphing for the spit, I guess it's not that hard to tell, but... It's more the timing that gets me. It's the random timing that gets me. You can't really develop a pattern around it. You have to kind of hope that he's not going to spit at that one moment when you're just not ready for it. When you're expecting everything to be safe. Oh, dang it! Oh, thank goodness for ducking at the last second. Come on, I want this. I can taste it. Alright, what's over here? There's another spitter, right? He's going to shoot right at that post. Oh, there it is. Called it. Okay. I can't ignore him, though, because he's going to be a problem later. There he goes. Oh, right, death, death zone, death zone. That one, that was on me. That one was on me because I totally should have known that. Okay, unfortunately, that is all the time that I can give for Dark Flame. I will say that this is a massive improvement from the last time we checked it out. I really did enjoy checking it out more and uh, seeing things improve and change, such as, again, the whole sword not hurting me when it's pointed down thing, the ability to get at enemies better. It definitely feels like a massively improved game from the last time. Not as hard, but still, in my opinion, just a little too hard for most players. 